This video provides a quick introduction to a program called EndNote. More importantly, this video will highlight the reasons that you should be using it. As a student, you might be wondering why would I ever want to use this program? The answer is very simple. It will make your life so much easier, especially if you are undertaking a thesis or PhD. EndNote is a program that manages your citations. Once you learn about its features, you will absolutely love it, trust me. Once upon a time, keeping your citations organised was a time-consuming task. Some of the problems faced was keeping track of the order of your citations, as well as collecting the data for your bibliography, as well as worrying about the format. This whole process can be seen in the example document being created on the screen. For this reason, it was very easy to waste a lot of time and effort worrying about formatting issues. There just has to be an easier way to manage all your citations and the way they are presented in your document. Luckily for you, times have changed. In this tutorial, we'll begin by looking at how you collect your citation information. The most common place people find journal articles is through Google Scholar. When you find an article that you will use in your research, select the Cite button. This will open a pop-up box. You can then select the Import into EndNote. Like magic, all the important information needed to cite the article is transferred to your EndNote library. There are also a number of other methods to import a citation. If you are directly at a publisher's webpage, most but not all publishers have a download or export citation link. All you need to do is click on the link, select EndNote and download the citation. Once again, like magic, it will appear in your EndNote library. If you find the article using summons via the university library, all you need to do is click on the small folder icon with a plus symbol. The icon will now be highlighted with a tick symbol. You can select as many articles as you like. When you have finished selecting your articles, click on Saved Items at the bottom of the screen. A new dialog box opens allowing you to export the citation to your EndNote library. Within EndNote, I strongly recommend that you create a few groups to sort out the articles you collect into categories. This will help you out down the track when you are putting your literature review together. I also strongly recommend that you attach the PDF version of the article to the citation entry. This will help you stay organised. If you double click on the citation, a new window will appear with all the information associated with the citation. You can change any of the information if needed. If you have the PDF attached, you can view and read the article. To save paper, I strongly recommend you do it this way. While you're reading the article, be sure to use the highlight tool to highlight useful information. This will especially come in handy if you're going to use Envivo to help manage your literature. In short, do everything early on to make your life easier. Now that we have collected our citations and had a quick look at the EndNote program, let's look at how useful this program actually is. If you open up Word, and if you install EndNote correctly, you should find an EndNote tab. Let's begin by looking at a document that we need to add the citations to. We start by adding the first citation. Click on Insert Citation. A new dialog box opens up. Enter in the author's name, 
or some other search term to find the article you wish to cite. Once you have found it, select it and insert it into your document. In practice, you would add all your citations as you write. But in order to make this tutorial effective, I will add more citations now. Take notice how the document updates as I add more citations. Do you see how much time and effort you are saving? Do you notice that I currently have the style set up as IEEE? That means my citations and bibliography will follow this style. What happens if you need to change your referencing style? For example, if you chose the wrong one, well, that is easy. All you need to do is go to the style menu and change it. Once again, all the data in your document is updated with little work for you to do. There will be times when you will want to change the way your citation is used in the document. For example, when referring to the authors in your sentence. All you need to do is select the citation, right click and select edit citation. You can then simply change the format here. How easy was that change? You're probably wondering now how you ever lived without this program. There are so many extra ways that eNote can be used to increase your productivity. The program can be tailored to suit all your needs. This goes beyond the introduction provided here. The best way to learn is to play around with the software yourself. If you need a detailed tutorial on how to use eNote productively, then please check out the resources on YouTube. Over 100 detailed videos are available from the channel eNote Training. If you want to be even more productive, eNote integrates well with another program called Invivo. Invivo is a great tool for a literature review, but that is covered in another video.